slow getting them up. I forgot it's a David's Day. Uh, we've got our flags up now. So, <clears throat> anyone who has a Shores near them, I bought that massive one in Shores for um, like a pound, two pound, that massive one. Um, so yeah, we've got our flags up. So she's in her little Welsh lady's outfit, and she's currently watching a CBBS program. About so David's Day, and she's going to be out at her nursery most of today. So they're probably going to do some David's Day activities with her. So all I can really show you today is our decorations because I've been a bit lazy on this topic because she is out. I'm letting them do this with her and giving myself a break for this day. Can Rosie tell me what she's wearing? Hello, I'm a Welsh lady. You're a Welsh lady. Why are you a Welsh lady? What day is it today? It's David's Day. Yeah, what's this? A flower, because... Oh, it's a daffodil, because that's our national flower. But they're painting frogs. What, did you paint daffodils yesterday? Yeah. In acorns? Yeah. Then they're painting frogs. Are you going to go dress in this today? Yeah. Yeah. Are you gonna are you gonna try and keep it clean? Yeah. Yeah. This is my dog. You need to put your name in your hat and your shawl in case they come off. You got an apron? I do have an apron. Ooh, you look awesome. I've, I've got all of these on this. I'll show you. Show them the parts of your outfit. Huh? Show them the parts of your outfit. My hat. Your shawl. That's your hat, your bonnet. That goes under your chin. My shawl. And this is my old, this is my apron. Apron. And this shows you my skirt. Yeah. Do you like it? Uh, this little bit. Just about fits so without being too big. It's <laughs> awesome. So happy St. David's Day, everybody. A dragon's very fierce. <laughs> A dragon's very tough. And when he breathes out orange fire, the smoke comes out in puff. His scales are shiny red. They make a rattling sound. Wriggle, wriggle, rattle, rattle. His teeth go jump. His feet go stomp. His tail thumps on the ground. A dragon's very fierce, <clears throat> a dragon's very tough. And when he breathes out orange fire, the smoke comes out in puffs. Poof, poof. No, no faster. The, the, his scales are shiny green. They make a rattling sound. No faster. His teeth go chomp, his feet go stomp, the tail thumps on the ground. Well, she won't do the actions for you guys, but there are actions to go with it. So I'm going to go pick her up from the nursery in a minute. Um, she's settling in great at her new place. Um, she, in fact, she's settling in so well she doesn't want to leave and then she's being quite the little madam when I have to bring her home because she doesn't, she doesn't actually want to leave. So um, I've just been prepping some farm stuff ready for her for next week and having a little bit of a tidy up and trying to get a bit of a rest as well while she's at nursery. Um, I'm sure you mums are familiar with the dilemma of if you don't feel like you're cleaning something, you don't feel like you've done anything, and um, it's you try and take some time to yourself and you feel guilty when you take it for yourself. It's just it's one of those things. So yeah, um, I'm probably going to put on a. Um, I might encourage, try and encourage her into the garden. It depends what she's done. If they've been out playing rugby again, I'll probably put on Pete's Dragon for her because it's a dragon movie to do with St David's Day um, if they haven't been outside I'll be trying to encourage her into the garden but she's really knackered when I pick her up they do a lot with her in this nursery she's she's truly tired by the time I pick her up 
So um, I'll play that by ear, but this is what we've done with St David's Day so far. Our decorations, her dress up, and we learnt a dragon song. So um, please give it a big thumbs up, and for now it's Tatar from me and Tatar from the Rosie Bear.